How do real estate agents commissions work? Some people might not know this, especially first time home buyers. When you're buying a property, you actually don't pay any commission. So your, all of your agents services come at absolutely no cost to you as a buyer. And the reason for that is traditionally commissions are actually paid by the seller. Now the seller pays their own agent for presenting the property, doing marketing and negotiating and getting the property sold. And then they also offer a commission to an agent who will bring them a buyer. Now I've come across some sellers who try to make that commission as low as possible. There's a reason why you don't want to do that. You might be trying to save a half a percent here or there on the commission, but you'll actually be shooting yourself in the foot because other agents will always take a look at that and the more commission you offer to an outside agent to bring you a buyer, the more likely they're motivated to get that buyer to come up in price and buy that property. Some sellers who are trying to cut corners or save, save a little money here and there could actually be shooting themselves in the foot. I recommend offering at least 2.5 or 3% commission to an outside agent and that way you won't have any issues and you'll be able to compete with all of the other properties on the market. There are some discount brokers who only offer 2% or maybe even less. Those properties are always sitting on the market, not selling. There's a reason for that and there's a reason why you don't want to do that. I always recommend sticking to the traditional plan in order to focus and get your property bid up and make sure you choose an agent who's gonna do the best in negotiating to get you that high price and work for that commission.